All right, so this is a short Pilates sequence. Come and sit at the end of your mat. Line your heels up so they're roughly in line with the mat there and hip width apart. Make a fist, place it between your knees, that's roughly hip width apart. Place your hands behind your knees, lift the chest up. Breathing in, looking down between your legs, rounding the spine, rocking back, and then walking your hands down the backs of your legs, lower the spine down to the ground. Shuffle your tailbone a little bit closer to your heels and place your hands down by your side. Weight through the pelvis, weight through the ribs, weight through the back of the head. Okay, we're going into a bridge position, spine curl. So you tuck the tailbone under, lower back softens into the ground. Then lifting the pelvis, lower back, mid back, ribs come up to the tips of the shoulder blade and open up at the hips, press the hips up. Nice straight line from knees to shoulders. Try not to arch too much in the lower back. Soften the ribs, ribs come down, mid back, lower back, and then pelvis. Weight through the feet, off you go again. Tucking the tailbone and rising up. Breathing in, softening the ribs down, and down the pelvis. Two more, tucking the tailbone under, relaxing the shoulders, And lower the ribs. Weight through the big toe. Let's try really far up the glutes to support this position. <clears throat> Softening the ribs. And down. Holding one knee in. Hold the other knee in. Keeping the legs at a 90 degree angle. Lower your right heel down towards the ground, tap the heel down, and slowly come back up. Change over to the other side, and back up with control. Try not to disturb the position of the spine, so the spine, right up to the shoulders, so the head is staying nice and still, and we're controlling the movement through the tummy, through the core, as you tap down one side and then the other side. Good. One more each side. Try not to straighten that leg. Lower the right heel down, lower the left heel down, bring the feet and knees together, bring the arms slightly wider, going into hip roll, keeping the feet together, rolling over to one side, keeping the shoulders in contact with the floor, bringing the knees back up, and with control, rolling over to the other side. Shoulders stay in contact with the floor. Roll through the pelvis, not the lower back. And up the side. Use the obliques to draw the knees back up. One more over to the other side. And back. Folding of the knee. Bring one leg up, the other leg up. Connect the feet and the knees together. There'll be a smaller movement, but a small hip roll over to the side. Back to centre with control. Over to the other side. The shoulders stay in contact with the floor. Working through the core. With control. Nice and slowly. Breathing deep and round.
back to the start position, placing your hands behind your knees, curling up, press the legs away and just roll through the back, rocking forwards and backwards, a little bit further, one more, and up you come. Okay. Placing the hands behind the backs of the legs, rounding the spine, folding the chest forwards into the legs, and then rolling back through the spine, rounding the spine, straighten the arms, with control, hinging forwards, back in towards the thighs, then lift up the chest. Relax the shoulders, round the spine, in towards the thighs, and then roll back. Relax the shoulders, relax the shoulders. Hip control, and lifting up to make this harder, bring the arms out in front, round the spine, towards the thighs, rolling back, forwards, and then lifting the chest up. One more. Relax those shoulders. Rising up nice and tall. Lower the arms down by your side. Swing your feet round. We'll come into tabletop series. Hands roughly in line with the shoulders and knees roughly in line with the hips. Try to have your knees too far apart. Slide your right foot away. Raise the right leg and opposite arm. Find the balance. Lower the hand, lower the foot with control. Slide that right leg back in, change over to the other side. Try to keep the pelvis and spine as still as possible. Off we go again. Nice long line. Try not to arch on the lower back. Nice still spine. We need to thread the needle. So just bending at the elbow and rotating through, hinging at the hips. Think about rib rotation rather than reaching with the arm. Place the hand down, change over to the other side, palm up, press down and the press up, rotate the ribs. And back up. One more each side. Walking the hands forwards, sitting back into rest position, deep breath, and coming forwards and down onto the mat. Okay. Bring your feet a little bit wide apart to shoulder width, and then bring your elbows out to the side so they're uh, just off the mat there, resting towards the side there. Forehead on the mat. Sliding your nose along the mat, lifting the head about a centimetre up off the floor, then raising the chest forwards and up into cobra prep. Softening the chest down. Nose comes down, then forehead to the mat. Slide the nose, lift the head, and raise the chest forwards and up. Try not to put too much pressure in the hands or the arms, and then that will really fire up the extensors. Two more. Bring up. Try not to go into the back of the neck there. So it's the chest raising up, it's really doing the work, the back is really doing the work to lift you forwards and up. Bringing the hands to chest height, press back 
into rest position, child's pose. Release the back of the head, reach through the arms, right to the fingertips. Breathing deep and round. And then walking your hands towards your knees, roll up through the spine. And we'll leave it there. Have a good day.